This is PTI. My name is Max. I'm Davis. And I'm Will. And today we're going to be arguing about who's going to win the who's going to be in the Super Bowl. Uh, for my Super Bowl pick, I got to go with uh, the San Francisco 49ers because um, if they keep Jimmy G, uh, they'll have a good co- quarterback since Jimmy G has um, developed into not from an average quarterback to a good quarterback. And um, even if they don't keep Jimmy G, they still have a Trey Lawrence. And Trey Lawrence um, is kind of like Lamar Jackson. He can run it and he can throw it farther than Lamar Jackson. And their defense might need a little work um, on it, um, especially the D-backs. But um, I think the 49ers will definitely win it this year. Very nice statement. I'm going to have to go with the Ravens. Uh, I think they are loaded with young talent after the draft. They picked up a lot of good guys like Marcus Williams in free agency. They got guys like Kyle Hamilton. You got good young backup tight ends like Charlie Collar. You got um, Rashad Bateman coming off of an injury where he didn't play for like more than half the season at wide receiver one. And the, uh, the organization of the Ravens is hoping he does well and I think he's gonna do well. Obviously you lost Hollywood, but he didn't like what was going on in the organization with the how Lamar ran the ball and not passed it enough. But then you have one of the top three tight ends and Mark Andrews, who is going to be a big receiving threat again this year. Again, top three tight end. And then you have a good blocking tight end in Nick Boyle. And the tight end depth, and just depth in general, that's what the Ravens are good. Yeah, and also you have some very nice linemen, Chuck Clark in the defense, some very nice uh, defensive players. So that's pretty good. Uh, I forgot to mention Debo Samuel. Last season he was just outstanding on how he can run the ball, just like the running back he might not be as strong as Derrick Henry. But he can show sure run it. He's got legs like Tyreek Hill. Um, and in the receiving end, he might be one of the best wide receivers in the league that we've had for a while now. Um, and let me just honor the kickers and the punters. Robbie Gold, he can knock them clutch downs like he did uh, against the Packers. Um, and he, can, he has some range. Uh, so, Fortnite is 100% making it. Yeah, and Debo is sort of a runner, too, so that works out really good for you guys. And for you guys, J.K. Dobbins coming off a really nice injury. Maybe he could do something for the Ravens. So, J.K. Dobbins coming off a nice injury, so they can definitely whip up something with him. Yeah, I mean, like, depth is another thing that they have with tight ends and running backs as well like uh you got the guys that they picked up in free agency last season Devontae Freeman the list just goes on and on and you want to talk about the kicking game like for the Ravens you got the best kicker in the league no doubt I mean last season in week three he kicked a record breaking field goal and yeah He's just the best kicker no matter what. Like, I don't think there's an argument to it. Yeah, Sam Cook uh, left, but we still got a good rookie punter in there. Definitely um, going to get us some nice kicks. Uh, I heard uh, Sam Cook still teaching him how to place the ball for Tucker since he's new to Tucker. And definitely, and thank you for listening to PTI.